in our organization, we have something like 5,000 companies and 72,000 employees that we work with. We try to create very innovative companies to go on a global market. And uh, if we don't have any global market, we have worked a lot with European market, we have worked a lot with American market. Uh, some of the things happening on the market today makes us a little bit vulnerable to just have one big market to work with. America is one of our biggest markets. Germany is, of course, the biggest, but America is a very important trade partner. We sell a lot to the Americans. We almost don't buy anything from them, but very little. But the, the difference between America and China is that we export quite a lot to China and import quite a lot. The, the trade between Sweden and China is in fact quite evil. Even. Not evil, even. <laughs> so, I would say in the future, if we could do even better, I think the trade between Sweden and China can improve a lot. And my hope is, in fact, I put into your responsibility as young people, because I think you are the ones that can solve this expansion of trade and relations between Sweden and China. Right now, there's a lot of interesting talk between government, Sweden and China going on. And there's a 70-year anniversary next year. And my hope is that we're going to see some interesting things happening between Sweden and China during the next year. I'm also very impressed by the ambassador supporting this uh, nice, fantastic student organization. I've been supporting this uh, in three years, you want, something like that. So, and I really enjoy every moment with it because, oh, my five minutes is over. Yeah. <laughs>